Guys, I had to write this down because I know I can't say it because it means so much to me. I, I love every one of y'all. It's simple. I'm not going to give you a great speech like Coach D or Coach DeWeese, but I know deep down in my heart I want to tell y'all something. I grew up with these guys. I know how they eat. I know how they sleep. I know how they breathe. I know that when you punch them in the mouth, they'll quit and they'll lay down, because I used to be one of them. I used to be one of those Why don't y'all take a moment, all right? Look amongst yourselves. Come on, look. See that? That's your brother. That's your ride or die, all right? When you get down, you throw a bad ball, he's got your back. Jack's got your back on defense, all right? Guys, I'm done. I wish I could play one more down. Keep this jersey on one more play. I give it my all. I have no regrets, all right? I did what I had to do, and I finished with this team, all right? Y'all go out there and win this for me, all right? Because I can't do it, all right? Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory and praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, and Kakudash. The one is the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Honest the salutations to the hopeful elect. Push his word, truth, sincerity. Or right, this is the brother Tawa Bashah from GMS LA slash LA Empire. Come back with another pre workout before camp. And what I want to touch on this week is, uh, you know, do quick, uh, a quick hit on brotherly love. You know what I'm saying? Because the times that we're approaching, the times that we're coming into, is going to be very crucial, man. It's imperative to be at peace with one another when all hell breaks for this man because we never know. You might you might be in a situation where you have to be with brothers when all these things take place. You know what I'm saying? If we are in, um, if we are, you know, around brothers in that time, we want to be in the mind frame of you know, having each other's back, man. You know, being on one accord and moving one spirit. So I'm gonna bring out a few scriptures, you know, I pray this is edifying to you out there. So I'm gonna give you the first scripture. It's Hebrews 13 and 1. It says, let brotherly love continue. And that's simply the point. Let brotherly love continue. Because we're gonna see each other's dirty draws. Okay, we're gonna see our flaws in one another. But the thing is, are, you, are we gonna let those allow those flaws, you know, to to make us um be bitter towards our brother. You know what I'm saying? Is that flaw? Is those flaws gonna overtake your love that you have for that brother? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all want to stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? And, and and like I said, the times that we come into, we, we you know we don't want to be in that that spirit of division, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one of the, the things that the Lord doesn't like. Matter of fact, let me get it. Uh, second that's one of the things that the Lord hate and this is Proverbs uh, chapter 6 verse 16 it says these six things doth the Lord hate yes seven are abomination unto him a proud look a lying tongue and the hands that shed innocent blood and, and heart that devises a wicked Wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to, to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sow discord among brethren. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that you know somebody that's not a brother will do. If you're not a brother, if you not if you don't show yourself to be brotherly, you will do these things. You will be a liar. You will be someone that will shed your brother's blood. You know, you'll be quick to do mischief. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's imperative, you know what I'm saying, to, to have that unity amongst each other. Because the Lord hates, he said, the seven is abomination to him. And the, 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 the one that saw discord among brethren. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be uh, having uh, discord amongst each other when that time comes. Because, you know, when that time comes, things are going to, uh, that's when the brotherhood really going to count. You know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and see, the Lord, he, 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 uh, he the brotherhood, it's a, a test, you know, it's a test on, on, on all kind of levels, man. You know, whether it be small or great, a lot of tests we, we, you know, we go through in this truth. 
it's, it's centered around the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, we go through our individual tests and, and whatnot, but a lot of times things we, you know, brothers go through is, is, is um, within the body, man. And we always got to remember the, the respect. You know, those lines can't be blurred. You know, we always got to respect the brothers that came before us, the brothers, uh, you know, uh, that have rank, you know, and all, as well as the younger brothers, man. We got to keep that, you know, that line of respect, man. So I'm going to get one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. This is First uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 17. It says, honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the most high, honor the king. And that's the mind frame, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you know, we don't know if we're going to be around brethren when all hell breaks loose. But we, if we are, we want to be at in harmony with one another. You know what I'm saying? Because Esau, this man's getting ready to come down with great wrath, as the scriptures say. And he doesn't give a damn, you know, he's gonna look as all as all the same. You know what I'm saying? Even you 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 Jake's out there, you his other Israelite camps, you may not be part of Great Millstone, you may not believe, push the same doctrine, but Esau's gonna come down hard on you too. He's gonna come down on all our people hard, you know. Whether you agree with us or you don't agree with us, you know, but I'm talking about the brothers in, within the, the body of Great Millstone, the brothers that's within, you know, the faith, the true, sincere brothers. This is the mindset we got to have, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, regardless of the petty differences, and, you know, things that, that happen, you know, between brethren, you know, that got to be ironed out, man. You got you to gotta, you gotta be able to confess your faults to brothers, you know what I'm saying? We gotta humble ourselves, man, to one another. You know, if you fucking up, you gotta own it, own it. You gotta own up to it, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and when the brother do own up, you gotta forgive the man, you know? Like that's all, that's that's why I brought out that scripture um, in Hebrews first, let brotherly love continue, man, through all the, the, you know, the ups and downs, man, you know? Cause the time, hey, the time is coming, time like no other, you know, it's gonna be ugly out here, man, but as long, as long as we keep our faith, Keep that, uh, that unity, you know, keep that peace and love among the brother, the body, keep it strong, because that's one thing that Esau can't fuck with. He can't fuck with a strong household. He can't fuck with anybody's own the one accord, man, you know? So, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, uh, what I wanted to bring out. Like I said, I pray this is edifying to the brother out there. Brother, stay strong, man. Remember, bro, let brotherly love continue, man. So with that, I give all glory praise to Yahweh by Shem El Shad, by Shem El Dash, the Mons of Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone. I'm just excited to taste the whole for life, which is very sincere. So I won't. And you're here.